While this type of animation may seem complex to achieve, with the use of the Greensock Flip plugin, which yes, is free, it's actually quite easy. So let's break it down. First, let's focus on the top section. We're using an HTML aside element as a parent container, which contains six different div elements with the class of item. Now to make this section fully responsive with a single line of magic code, we're making this aside element a CSS grid, and we're giving grid template columns an auto fit and min max function. This allows us to make it responsive without relying on media queries. Now, each time a user clicks on one of these cards, we will manipulate the DOM so that the card item's new parent becomes the purple container, which is a div element of stack container. This means that we need to create CSS rule sets for this container as well, based on how we want the cards to look when stack container is the item's parent. For the JavaScript, we want to import both Greensock and the Flip plugin. Now the Flip plugin is very cool. In short, it will handle animations when the DOM is being changed. So when the item elements are being moved from the aside parent to the stack container, it will handle those animations for us. First, we want to register the Flip plugin. Then we'll create two constants to grab all the items from the aside element and then another to select the stack container. Next, we need to iterate over all the items and then attach an event listener of click onto them. Now we need to get the state of both the items and the stack container. After that, we need to move the clicked item from the aside element to its new stack container parent. At this point, if we click on the items, there's no animations. It's an instant transition. This is where the flip plugin comes into play. We define flip.from, we pass in the state, a duration, and in this case, we'll set scale to true, which uses scale X and scale Y of the transform property instead of width and height to scale the logos inside of them. And finally, an easing, which will give it the springy bounce effect. And that's it. That's all that's required to create this effect, which has many different use cases. So get creative. If you enjoyed this video, check out designcourse.com where you can learn UI, UX, CSS, and more with my custom interactive platform that makes learning fun and easy.